gonna happen on that match. I'm really excited actually to see also Team Frenzy and Mint because I've never seen uh, them play together. So we'll see, we'll see what's gonna happen to the winner, Sami. Okay. So uh, as opposed to skills, we saw earlier opening up a match with a grab here uh, as Sheik against uh, against uh, Spacey, which uh, is what happened in the in the last game of the last set or second to last game. Um, we just saw Amsa doing the same thing, but not going for the chain grabs, but going for a read instead. So he is not as occupied with you know trying to reaction tech chase his opponent. So that's why he. Oh. Ooh! All right, solid chance back here. A kill for a kill. Yeah. <laughs> he just went for it, man. I told you, it's a wild beast! Yeah! <laughs> I'm telling you! <laughs> okay... Oh, the positioning of Amsa just that waiting be a bit it. Oh, there. the laser's not quite hitting Min. Frenzy's and Min's synergy not on point right here because Prof wasn't even intercepting. True. Uh, Amsa wasn't even intercepting there. Uh-oh! Frenzy off stage, get grabbed. Thank you, mate. Oh, la 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 la. Okay, so Sheik finally losing her first stock right uh -huh. here. And Prof almost losing his second stock here, but uh, they are not able to edge guard him because Amsa was in between them, keeping them occupied with himself while Prof was able to make it back. But you don't make it back from this one. Prof no. losing his second stock already. So Amsa being the stock tank for the green team actually uh, making the difference right now. It's, it's often that in that team actually. As, as Prof is taking the, all the risk and just going on, it's one of the main strategy. You know, like Amsa just waiting and just like calming the game, you know, just slapping like some some ways, but just like, you know, keeping the stocks, like that Prof can go ham in it, making a mess, and then he finds some opportunities. And obviously, as soon as Prof has not uh, just use all of his stock, he can take from the bank. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, mid with a channel of shield, uh, recognizing that Amsa is not sitting in shield anymore there. But not getting too much out of it. Amsa in the edge guard uh, situation now, but Mint just lets him come back while Frenzy tries to keep Prof out so they can finish the job on Amsa, but not able to. Now back air on Amsa, not deciding to edge guard the guy. Oh, now he gets him with the daft. Is that gonna be enough? Nope. On the other side of the stage, Frenzy finishing off Prof though. But again, Amsa being the stock tank really coming into play here. I mean, they play, they keep it up with uh, with Prof all the time, getting kills on him and whatnot. But Amsa is just sitting there comfortably, just like Nikki did in the last game in the in the set before that. Uh -oh. That's gotta be it, right? Yeah. Yep, yeah. There we go. Solid edge guard right there. Amsa showing off a little, uh, a little shield drop action even, uh, saying like, guys, you know, I don't have to down smash here. I can, I can just shield drop forward air. Because I'm do, precise like that. Do, do you mean Amsa can be technical? He definitely can. I think there's a lot of uh, underestimation going uh, in, in this <laughs> aspect of his gameplay because he can be super quick sometimes. Yeah, it just doesn't look like it because he plays so methodical and neutral that he only moves when he has to sometimes. And it looks like he's just playing with you sometimes. But when he gets his opening, oh my god, this man can be freaking amazingly fast. And he's not missing his inputs. He is not missing it by one bit. Yeah. Uh, Zyko13, we are playing NTSC now. Yes. Now we're playing NTSC, you got an even better Sheik, man. And we're back on Pokemon yeah. Stadium this time. So we'll see if Frenzy and Mint can maybe manage to uh, make it a little bit closer because that was super tough. And right at the beginning, both of them are cornered here. And Ansa, look at that, making the wall. Even if Frenzy can get out of it, it's still managing, you know, to try to encircle them. And finally, in fact, they just encircle them, not on the right, but on the left. And Frenzy what? might bring Ansa down while coming back on stage. That was a 500 IQ edge card there by Frenzy, man. Amsa was not ready for this intergalactic brain expansion that happened in Frenzy. Oh, and green team, after such a great start, losing both of them their first stock. But a lot of damage on the red team, so you never know. Okay, good call. The slab, Frenzy trapped, Frenzy trapped. Get hit by the four tilt, waiting a minute thanks to the champ, get hit by the neutral and the multiple jump is dead. Three stock piece, uh, three stock each. Yeah. Okay, green team once again with the control, but Min turning up the table on Amsa. But Prof ready to save his master. Okay, they got both of them on the left side of the tree. Are these guys gonna camp the tree like they're supposed to? They are no... No super egg. Oh, we, oh, we got some cute down tilt spamming right there. 
And we got the whip. What? Yeah, that's All the right. thing. <laughs> Mint, like, Mint hit his down tilt. That's the thing. I, f I feel like as a dog tilt, I get, you know, like he extends his hurt box. Uh -huh. So depending on who hits first, I'm going to say, I think the second one can reach him. Yeah, I see. Because the tail is still in front of him. Or maybe it's the opposite. I don't know. But that might be a very, very small frame window, oh, actually, yeah. for that. <laughs> that look, looked like they were not hitting each other for like a hundred times, and then once Mint was able to hit Prof there. Anyway, Mint losing his second stock here. But Frenzy yeah. sitting on 77, quite good for uh, not losing the stock right away. But oh, that looks difficult. Sweet edge guard there, uh, not being able to finish it because uh, Prof was right there, right, waiting for Frenzy to make a crucial mistake, and he didn't. But uh, got killed on the other side of the stage anyway. Oh, those lasers saved Mint's life. Oh, yeah, that was so cool. That was actually very cool. He definitely stopped the slap coming up from uh, from Amsa. And uh, Amsa tried to come and save Prof, they unfortunately get ahead of it, allowing the red team to repositioning it themselves, and now they're freaking frightening. Okay, so Prof sitting on 112%. Uh -oh. Dies from that up tilt, and the lead for the red team now. A very, very thin margin, though. Oh, that was not enough for Mint. Mint DIing super hard to the left. Just barely surviving, but now Prof gets him. Ooh! Uh, that was Frenzy's double jump. He's out of here. I, I feel like Frenzy went too much on the edge when he tried to protect the recovery from Mint. So the green team just came back and took the whole stage in the blink of an eye. Uh -huh. So even if Mint managed to take back the edge, like they couldn't they couldn't push forward. Like yeah, they exactly, couldn't because yeah. that was too late. He just let everything to them. We just saw Amsa whipping fools, but Frenzy wisely moved out of the way. I think the whip might reach him right here, right? He could try it. Pro no, that would be difficult because Prof is locked in this laser animation and uh, Amsa would be locked in a whip animation so they could actually, like, you know, get them into an all-out assault where they reach them on the wrong foot. Okay. Oh, trying to cross up. Trying to attack with 450% but get killed right away by the back here. Trying to get Frenzy here. But Frenzy managed to play defensively very well. But once again, they're encircled. Mint on the edge. Oh, that's gonna be Frenzy stock. Taken out by Prophet here, and yeah, uh, Mint could definitely do this, but very difficult spot. Very, very difficult situation to be in a 2v1 in against Amsa and Prof. And that's gonna be it. Game two goes to Amsa and Prof as well. A lot more, um, a lot more, a lot closer than the first one was. Yep. Though definitely. we had two transformations that really took out the heat in that game like the two two uh, transformations where uh, both teams were basically stalling and waiting them out uh, waiting the transformations out so that's some momentum shift so frenzy and mint could recollect potentially so maybe that's why the game was a lot closer not too sure but i think uh, also the uh, the very early gimp in the very first stock from frenzy on amsa um, played a crucial role and this game being a lot closer. Uh, final destination, yeah, I could definitely see that. Best stage for a double spacey team when there's a Sheik on the other side. Yeah, and I feel also like Pokemon Stadium, as you said, were, were closer, was closer, now it's wilder, no more platform, so yeah, definitely gonna be helpful. And as Sheik is the one of the, is the control character of the team, and she's the tallest, uh -huh. maybe the laser would be easier to reach. Oh yeah, true, very true. Ooh. I'm so getting a quick kill on mid right here. Ooh, now both of them being edge guarded. Oh wow, Prof makes it back with a, a sick shine side B, uh, tech side B. Okay, nice shield, but nice back here. Frenzy respecting so much the area of, their, of his opponent. All right, all right. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Good call by Mint. Definitely, Mint completely yeah. just gave up on the edge guard on the Amsa, even if he could get the kill just to save Frenzy, and he's right to do so. Yeah, solid awareness by Mint right here. Ooh. And especially oh, for still that. getting with the combo. Wow! Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves some heat from the red team with, uh, I think, the very first super impressive doubles combo that I see today. Oh man, that was as fresh as a mint and as crazy as frenzy. I loved it. Oh, not bad. Oh man, what a team! What a team! How are you such a poet right now? You see, man. <laughs> And that's gonna be it. Oh wow, Prof! Solid smash the eye on the down air. Landing on the stage instead of uh, getting dunked. But oh. now he got dunked this time around. 
Yeah. So this counter pick seems to work out so far in the favor of the red team. Also, this uh, one big 2v1 punish also, you know, gave them a little bit of an edge. But, you know, edge guarding is a lot easier when there's no platforms involved, so... I feel also like now they're more sticking together. Like, they, they, they were less sticking together. Maybe green team managed to uh, separate each other way more. But I really feel like now they're all the way together. Look at that. For instance, Frenzy just made a backhand instantly as soon as Mint any of this edge guard to be ready to make a pass to him. Mint was in a very difficult spot. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, the shine spike on Prop. All right, all right, all right. We got ourselves a 2v4 stock situation, though uh, Mint is ready to die. Yeah, and he does. So, yeah. Uh -oh. uh, three versus two stocks. And get the punish on Amsa. 53. That's quite all right. It's, oh, uh, what a forward smash. Get the kill. Get the kill. Skip, because if you have it, what a needle. Wow. What, what a needle, needle indeed. Because what a needle thing. and needle. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing is, like, they need, they need that game because it, they, they're back to the wall. Their back are, well, you get They have you their backs me, against okay? the wall. Thank yeah, you. Exactly. Because it's 0-2, okay? Yeah, they, they gotta win. win. They gotta win. Otherwise, they're in losers. Oh my god, I'm so poofing him. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, because the thing is like both of the red team get high percent kind of so if they can get both of the kills Especially now because they're all cornered like that for these get killed. Oh! oh Unfortunately missing getting him with the Michael Balak <laughs> instead oh. of the strong hit box. That's gonna be Amsa stock and props sitting at 119 That's yeah. gonna be it Game four, all right. Frenzy and Mint got some fight left in them. Uh, and it was a clutch back here also because Mint, Mint made a mistake, and uh, Prof at any point in time could have just dropped Shine, kill uh -huh. Mint, and then come back and take care of Frenzy. And I think that could have been hard for for Frenzy to deal with that uh, yeah. specific movement. You know, just yeah. like uh, whether then Shine by Bam, you never know. So great call, great call. Two one. They saved the game. They saved the set. It's not over yet. Yeah, where are they gonna go? I think they might be going to uh, Yoshi's, which is what we saw earlier in the other set with the double spacey against uh, Spacey Sheik. Or... But maybe Battlefield. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Battlefield. Right. Also a very solid choice here. Also, Yoshi's is better when you have a Falco around as, uh, as opposed to Double Fox, because uh, those Shine of the Top kills are very quick and very... Uh, like comparatively easy to execute, even though it's quite a long sequence. Uh, comparatively easy to execute in yeah. doubles as well as in singles because it's so quick. And also, as uh, as uh, Falco is lower than uh, than Fox, a shorter stage helps him to just like reach anyone at any point in time way faster. Yeah. And Fox does not care if the the stage is wild or not. He'll be on his opponent and any anyway. But Professor Pro losing his first start right here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Frenzy and Mint. Frenzy and Mint. Also, Amsa stock looking ready to be taken. Okay. Oh, that good now goes for the Nair. Solid choice. Uh -oh, oh, and Mint in a very peculiar spot right here, but surviving it. Frenzy, on the other hand, not the best choice to go for the side B there, I guess. Yeah. Sometimes you know you want to get back on stage fast, but uh, Professor Pro is faster than you. Uh huh. That's the main thing. When you when you think about. Do I need to get fast? Just think the fact that Prof will be always faster than yeah, you. Yeah, Prof is uh, one of the quicker, <laughs> one of the quicker players, I'd assume. Uh, I'd say. Okay. Red, oh man, Red Team is completely cornered, but they manage to play such good defense to push away the Green Team. Yeah, it looks really solid, uh, really good for Red Team right now. Oh, what a nice weak back aerial! I think that was not planned by Frenzy. He wanted to hit Amsa with it, but actually gave Mint another shot at life here. Okay, okay. Oh, Amsa missing some take shares. I feel like Amsa is uh, losing many reads actually. Mini, you know, positioning, he lost them, allowing Red Team to turn up the table. But finally, Mint stuck. It's finally gone. That was the first one. Uh huh. Oh, and that's gonna be a chance back on Frenzy. Frenzy makes it back though. Very, very clutch recovery right there. He could have, he had no centimeter left. Uh-oh, 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 hard, uh, hard time for Mint, hard time for Frenzy, hard oh, time for double edge card? Uh, yeah, he's gonna hit him, he's gonna hit him, yeah. Make it back, Mint, Frenzy, sacrifice the stock for that. Oh, but even then, even then the green team, man, Pro Pro bited my Mint and did not let him go, man. Oh, and now they got the lead, but with that much high percent, yeah, yeah. They can lose it. Prof is stalling and it's gonna be enough! He gets the needles and doesn't get edge guarded because Prof is uh, intervening there with Frenzy trying to back air Prof. And yeah, Prof still on this stock. Which it would have been a very crucial loss right here because he is at a below 100%. Okay, so, good. yeah, crucial moment of the match. Oh, what a fair! Wow. What a fair! 
That's the thing with Amsa, sometimes it's just unpredictable because you went into it and boom, find it. I love those needles, by the way, just cover the side B of Prof also. Yeah, and now we have the situation again where Red Team really has their backs against the wall because this is potentially their last game and they had it in their hands and lost it at some point, you know? And now the green team is turning up the Jets, making this comeback possible, so they have no more games to give, Red Team has. Still in the lead, though. Still, still in the lead, in the though. Lead. Still in the lead. And Amsa can lose his stock at any point in time, but you know how defensive he can be sometimes. Mint with a great shine. And can I get the kill? He got the trade over Frenzy. They're ready to back it up, but he got hit by the Firefox. So Professor Bro is still living, and fortunately, getting hit by the dash tag. Now the back here. But Amsa finally losing his stock, yeah. though. But both of the red team are at higher percent. Yeah. Now Prof needs to survive. Oh, and this is such a bad spot. <gasps> oh, but he survives. How did both of them survive this? Oh my goodness. He missed All right. it. All right, now Mint not able to lose this stock right now because yeah, Frenzy's coming back, taking uh, Mint second to last stock. Now yeah. Mint's hitting on his last stock. Oh, and no! No, Frenzy hit his own fuck! Frenzy! That was the main thing, like the battle was in between Frenzy and Amsa to not let her, their fox die first. Yep. But Frenzy kill his own and fortunately now he's alone. He needs to kill Prof quickly. Both of them are at a high percent though. So that's doable. So oddly uh -oh. enough, uh, <gasps> Frenzy earlier missed a crucial uh -oh. F-Smash edge guard on Mint and now he got that edge guard on his own teammate. Damn. Oh, such a game. Right, on such prof. On a prof. set. Oh la 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 la. That was so good. Yeah. It was uh, so unfortunate for Red Team the way they lost it in game four. They, I, I could have seen the game five happening, but yeah. Amsa and Prof pulling through, making it to winners' finals, I think, as they were expected to. One thing that came up in chat, though, that I was uh, not thinking about was. Over and Triff. Uh, they dropped out. They dropped out. Triff uh, didn't want to play doubles. He wanted to sleep to be ready for his singles. Place. That's what I said earlier today, right? He hates doubles. He told. He told